Alright, hey everyone, what is going on? Uh, this is going to be our first video in our series of our of our web design series. So, in this series we're going to be covering HTML, CSS, PHP, and MySQL, or MySQL, I call it MySQL. Uh, and we're going to need a couple tools to be able to do that. So, the first tool that we will be using is a program called Notepad++. It's basically a more advanced version of Notepad that has the ability for like things like things like auto completion so if we put in uh, a bracket it'll close the bracket and uh, it also come up with function names and stuff for different uh, for different PHP functions and stuff like that so uh, we'll get more on we'll, we'll learn more about that later but uh, for now you're gonna need to go on the internet and search up notepad plus plus and you're gonna want to install it it's the first link notepad plus plus dot org um, and you will find a download over here and you're going to want to um, in install that. So once you've done that, um, we need another software package which is called WAMP. Uh, it's called WAMP Server actually and you, get, you uh, type in WAMP and you'll find it on the top, WAMPserver.com. You click on start using WAMP and then there's 32-bit version and 64-bit version. Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and um, install that. It should just be a normal regular installer package so you shouldn't have any trouble with that. Uh, what WAMP is, is it stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP slash Python. Uh, for the most part it stands for PHP, but nowadays Python's used in a lot of web applications. Um, there's also MAMP if you're on a Mac, which just changed the W to the M. It stands for Mac instead of Windows. And then there's XAMP, which I think is for Linux, but we're not going to worry about that, obviously, because no one's going to be on Linux, I don't think. So once you have that installed, you will see a new folder under your C drive or wherever you install it, but that's where it installs by default. And you go into C WAMP www. And this is where this is your website file like file like directory basically. So any web page, web file, whatever it is, um pictures, stuff like that, it's all going to be in here, and it's all going to be run from here. So this is essentially where your websites go. Uh, once you actually have installed WAMP, you're going to want to run it, so you literally just double click, and then in in the bottom here, in the bottom right, you'll see it, it turns green if it's on, uh, and if it's not, you have to hit start all services like this. If it doesn't come on, um, if, if you have Skype, up, um, if you have Skype up and running, it will not run because Skype uses the same port as WAMP's going to use to run your Apache web server, so it won't work. You, you have to turn off Skype. So once you have it up and running, we're going to do a quick test to see if this works. We're going to go ahead and make a new file, and we're going to save it as, we're going to save it as a PHP file. We're going to save it in the www directory. We're going to call it hello.php. Okay, all we're going to do is this. We are just going to do a simple echo. Whoops. Hello. That's all you have to do. And then save it. Okay? Echo, hello. That's it. That's all we got to do. Then we are going to go into our browser. We're going to type in 127.0.0.1 slash hello.php. And it'll come up on the screen and it'll say hello. That means that your PHP script is running and your web server is running. So that means that everything is working properly and we can begin doing actual web design stuff. Um, if you see, alright, so let me actually just show you what, it, what it'll do. Just, I'm going to hit stop all services and I'm going to refresh, uh, well, I'm, it shouldn't be, it, it shouldn't be running it. Oh, it's because it's it's because it started again. Maybe it's like automatically starts or something. Okay, yeah. Okay, this. It's gonna say the web page is not available, and it's gonna say error, connection refused. That means that you haven't started your Apache, uh, your Apache server yet. You haven't started WAMP. It has to start, and uh, it has to start for this stuff to run because PHP is is server side. It's not client side. And there it is. So once you guys all once you guys got all that stuff to work, um, then we can begin to actually start the web design process. So 
Let me know if you guys have any questions. I know there are sometimes there's problems with people setting up WAMP. I had a bit of trouble uh, when I first started. There's all kinds of things that can go wrong. So just let me know if it didn't work. Um, and I'll try to give you guys as much help as I can. Uh, but stay tuned in the, uh, in the uh, future. We're going to do a ton of stuff. We're going to be using uh, MySQL database. And we're going to be contacting that via PHP. And it's going to be retrieving information. And we'll do login forms and contact forms and all kinds of stuff. So just wait and uh, we'll get to some cool stuff. So stay tuned in the future. And thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any problems.